I've been on YouTube for three years. That's pretty cool. I have nothing else to say. And I don't really have any games to play right now. Because I just reinstalled Windows. And they're all reinstalling currently. So that's pretty fun. Um. Thanks for watching, I guess. It's been three years since I uploaded what I consider my first real video. Um, so, you know, there's that. Um, don't forget to join our Discord server, shameless plug. Um, we have some channels that have to do with Roman stuff right now. In fact, I will t tell you them right now. Actually, I can't speak Latin, so... Well, we have Roman Circle Jerk, uh, Ro Invincible Rome, um, Glorious Rome, but it's a very bad translation, SPQR, Fortnite Delanda S, which means Fortnite must be destroyed, uh, Carthago Delanda S, those are the only ones I'm going to even attempt to fucking pronounce, uh, which is Carthage must be destroyed, F to pay respects to Constantinople, um, F to pay respects to Rome. Uh, Roman memes and uh, a Latin help form so it, in case you don't speak Latin or know how to use Google Translate fuck translate like I do so yeah there's that we also have a general chat and you can chat in there which is pretty neat I guess so yeah thanks for watching. This is really just me being too lazy to do anything else today. I mean, and I'm currently reinstalling all my Steam games, but still. Um, thanks for watching. Ooh, um, actually, I just finished work on a new mod pack. I, shocking, right? I've got like 10 or 30 now, probably. I don't fucking know. It's probably closer to 50. Um, Eh, maybe 70, I don't honestly know. But, um, it's, it's a truly lightweight mod pack, unlike the old one. Uh, Synthetic World, I think it's called. Um, which was intended to be lightweight, but then it had too many mods added to it. So it was not lightweight, and it had more, like, synthetic, um, the synthetic mod pack amount of mods. Actually, no. The synthetic mod pack has an obscene amount of mods by any person's standards. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think um, the synthetic mod pack is a reasonable person's mod pack. Like, I need, I need to buy more RAM to continue playing that. That's the main reason I'm not doing videos on it anymore. Is I need to buy more RAM to continue playing it, which I'm probably gonna do sooner than later, um, because. That's a thing that I need. And, you know, RAM is important for computers. Especially um, with DaVinci Resolve. I don't use it too often r right now, but a lot of that is because I don't have enough RAM to use it. Because right now, I've got Discord and OBS open. And I'm using 4 gigs of RAM. So, um,. When I'm doing a lot of other stuff, it's pretty much all 8 gigabytes taken up. And 8 gigs is fine for people who don't use their computers as much as I do, but when you're trying to have 97 Chrome tabs open, no joke, that is frequently how many Chrome tabs I have open. Actually, that might be a bit exaggerated, but it's close to 97. Um, and you've got Minecraft or mod modded Minecraft usually, um, and I usually just leave DaVinci Resolve open because I can. I mean that doesn't help me at all. I also have the Bitcoin wallet, all this other stuff, and that doesn't. Kira Fusion 360 rarely, but occasionally AutoCAD is running along with all these other things. I really just need to change my habits, but. You know, why do that when you can waste time doing other things, right? So, um, 
thanks for watching. This is like the second time I've done that. Um, see you next time. Um, goodbye. Oh, I've actually had Windows, now I'm thinking about it, running on less than a gigabyte of RAM. A 64-bit system running on less than a gigabyte of RAM. Which took a lot to achieve, but it did happen. Nothing else was run. Nothing was running. I had a Minecraft server running, and it was running on like 80 mega. No, not 80. 800 megabytes of RAM. I think was the lowest I saw it, which was insane. So, yeah, I wish that was a thing I could pull off normally. <laughs> Unfortunately, that will never happen again. And it was a beautiful site. But Windows is not a server hosting OS. So, you know, use Linux if you're hosting servers. That's the pro tip of the day. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.